Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are touring my finished desert on Eternity Isle. Now as we get started on today's tour, I do want to disclaim that there is one location that is not decorated and it's by the Cave of Wonders. I'm actually saving this spot for a future Aladdin character once we get them, so I'm not sure what I want to do currently with that location. I may just turn it into a functional farming area to get me by, but that is the only spot that is not decorated for this tour today. Now if you've been following me for a while you're probably aware how much I love the city core aesthetic. So the first part of my desert is a more modern city. I really wanted this area to have some natural locations but also be very structured. It was such a fun build to do and a lot of my builds that you've been seeing on my channel throughout these type of tours have actually been documented on videos or live streams. And I've been getting these questions quite a bit on how to get multiple house skins. The hotel is actually a premium shop item. It is not a house skin. I did get a few comments about this item on a previous video and you can order multiple of these from Scrooge's. However, at some point during the tour when we go into my desert city, you're going to notice that I'm using two of the same house skin and this is simply done by making your main home the skin that you want to use. Then you go back into furniture tab under the house category and you can place a second one. Anyways, before we move over to my more Aladdin inspired city, I'm going to get some overhead shots of the modern city for y'all and then we'll go ahead and transition into that part of the tour. I hope that so far this area has brought you some inspiration on Disney Dream My Belly. I had so much fun creating this first build and I'm really excited to continue to share the rest of my desert on Eternity Isle with y'all. For my Aladdin inspired city, we actually did two different versions. I did one as a speed build and then this version we actually did on a live stream because I decided to spiral last minute and do a different layout. I do like both versions of this build but this one is my favorite because I feel like it captures the movie so much better and I was able to do a bunch of different market stalls that are themed in different categories. Like for example, this one is a farmer's market and then the one directly across from it is more flea market inspired. If you're interested though in seeing the build process of this whole entire location, I will have the live stream linked for you in the video's description and the original layout that I did for a speed build as well. Next, for Gaston's area, this is actually still technically unfinished. I need to unlock more of his recipes so I can decorate that stall over there and I'm gonna go for something more restaurant inspired. So just ignore that that location is not fully decorated yet. But as we move deeper into my desert city, we come across an area that is more plaza themed and this area is framed in by more market themed stalls. Now the market stall that you've been seeing through this build and the wooden planks are both craftable items that you get when you unlock Eternity Isle by getting the DLC. So just progress the story some more in the characters and eventually these recipes will be available to you.
Now that we finished the walkthrough of my desert city, it's time to get some overhead shots for y'all in case you're recreating it. As mentioned in the beginning of this tour, the area where the Cave of Wonders is is going to remain undecorated. I might turn that into the functional garden idea to get me by until we unlock more characters, but I do not want to decorate this until we know what we're getting with this new update coming in a few days. I hope that today's tour brought you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Before today's video also ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so very much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.